Hello everyone. Welcome to Adharshila Coding Classes. Today, we are going to make an amazing game which I hope everyone has played in their childhood. Well, you guess it right. It's Tic-Tac-Toe. It is one of my favorite games. So let's understand how to make this game on code.org using Sprite Lab. Now, very first thing which we need here is a background. I'll go to the world block. I'll take a set background color. It's your choice if you want to take a color or if you want to take some background. I'm preferring a color over here. Well, the sea green color looks really nice. So I'm not going to change this. After this, we need few sprites. So I'm going to go on sprites area. I'll take the option, make a new sprite. But I don't need this bunny here. So let's change this. We'll go to costumes. We are going to make a new costume. I'm going to draw a costume. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to select a color. I'm selecting color, let's say blue. You can choose any one color of your choice. After this, I want to create some lines over here, the pattern on which we have to play this game. So I'm going to select a stroke tool. So I should be getting the lines which are directly parallel to each other. And let's start making it. First line is done. Now I'm going to make the second line. Well, this is done too. Now I'm going to take the lines in the horizontal manner. We have to create this mesh in which we have to play the tic-tac-toe. The second horizontal line will end this sprite making. And we are good to go. Now we have to go back to the code area. I will be selecting the sprite which I have just created. Right now you can see that the size of the sprite is quite small. So let's do one thing. Increase its size. I go to sprites area. I will select set sprite size. And then you can choose the size according to your choice. For me, first I will select the sprite. And in this case, I'm going to select it as 400. Now it spits my screen very well. So I'm going to take it this way only. After this, we have to make sure that every time we are playing the game, when we are pressing on this, uh, this particular sprite, something should happen. So I'm going to take an event which says when a sprite clicked. So every time we press on anything over here, it is going to show crosses or zeros. And that's what we are making now. So I am saying if I press on the sprite which we have just created, we need to make sure, so in this case, we have to set a condition. This type of condition which we are going to use right now is named as conditional statements. For this, I will be taking a condition from the logic. Go, go to the logic and take if block. In this if condition, we are, we are saying that there, there must be two sprites. One will be the circle, another will be the cross. And we have to make sure that if their numbers are equal, then only we will be getting the next chance to make a new turn. In this case, we need to create two more sprites. I will go to the costume area and let's create the sprite by ourselves. Now for this, I'm going to take a circle. And again, it's your choice which circle you want to take. I'm going to take, let's say, a red circle. So I'm going to create a circle over here. As much big you want, you can create that. And this is my one of the sprite create. Now, next sprite which I have to create here is going to be a cross. Again, I'm going to take the line stroke so that it should be easily coming on my screen. And I have to select a color again. In this case, why not I should take a blue color? Okay, I'm going to take this blue color and I'm going to create cross on my screen. So I create a cross across the whole uh, area available. And I think this is good to go. Now we have created both two sprites and now we can go back to the code area. I will take a block from math, which is saying number of. Select the sprite which I'm talking about. So I'll be taking the circle first and then I'm going to duplicate this block for the cross as well. We are saying if the number of cross and the circles are equal, then the next turn should always be for the circle again. So in this case, we have to create a new sprite. 
I am going to create a new sprite here, which is going to be a circle. And in this case, we are, we are making sure that the circle is only coming on the place where my mouse is pointing. So I'm going to change this location block, go to the locations area and select mouse location. So wherever I'm going to select the area using my mouse, I'm going to place that circle over there. Now, in this case, let me try how is it working. You can see the circle is coming quite good. So I'm keeping it this way only. Next thing which we have to do here is we have to check if the condition is not true. That means if the number of circles is not equal to number of crosses. In that case, uh, the possibility is that zeros are already high because the zero is the first command which we are going to give. So we have to make a cross. So I'm going to take else. And lastly, I can create a new sprite again that is going to be the cross. Now let's see the size of cross as well. So it should not look bad afterwards. I have selected circle and the cross. You can see the cross is coming quite bigger than the circle. So let's decrease the size of the cross here. So I'm going to go to sprites area again and I'm going to select the size. For this, I'm talking about the cross. Let's keep the size to, let's say 50 only. Let me try it if it's working fine. Yeah, now they are looking great. So I'm not going to change the size anymore. We'll keep it as 50. Now these two conditions are done. Either we are going to place zeros or we are going to place the crosses. So let's see who is winning the game just by adding one more condition. From the logic, take one more if condition. And in this case, we are going to compare if the number of circle is equal to a particular number, which I'm going to take as 5. Then what should happen? We have to remove both the sprites from the screen because we know now the game is over. Either the game is tied or circle has already won the game. So let's see how the game is happening. I have selected both the sprites and that's my code. Now, as the code is already done, let's try if it's working fine or not. So I'm going to play. We'll start with the run button. I press on circle first, then across a circle, across a circle, across a circle, across and a circle. Now, as you have seen, as soon as the circle reaches to 5, the tie was already there on the screen. So we have removed all the sprites. For me, the game is working. I hope you like the game. If you really like it, do like, share and subscribe to Adharshila Coding Classes. See you next time. Till then, goodbye.